Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to do something I've done several times before, but it's embedded in other videos of mine. But this time, I'm going to do a dedicated video to updating the firmware on a PC. It has currently 64 gigabytes of memory being upgraded to double that, 128. The BIOS needs to be updated. That's what I believe anyway. I'll double check it first, and then I'll update it, and then I'll do whatever adjustments I need to make within the BIOS that might be reset when you update the BIOS. That's happened sometimes. Not always, but it happens. It depends how severe the update is. This particular motherboard, the Asus Z690P with Wi-Fi, has gotten a lot of updates since I bought it. It's probably on an order of maybe three to four a year. And it's been about nine months since I updated it, so I think it's probably overdue. But we'll find out when I get in there and check against the database that Asus provides out on their website under the Support tab. With that, let me get into it, and I'll go it from soup to nuts, and I'll explain it along the way. And uh, hopefully, if you have this particular board and this may help you, that's great. Although, if you have any manufacturer's motherboard, the process is very similar. Just a little bit of a different look in terms of the web page that you get it from, the, the updated BIOS, that is, and the buttons you have to push in the BIOS. But again, the process is usually very, very similar. So let's get started. Okay, before I try putting the additional memory in, let me see if I need to do a BIOS update. I believe I do, but let me double check. I will run the Free Utility CPU Z. I have to run as administrator. And for this, I will have to go to the main board. Well, let me double check the memory first. It is 64 gig, right? The main board is AMI BIOS version 2212, which is 12 13 2022 two almost a year old now so let's see what we have available for us from the asus website okay so i'm in the support section of the asus motherboard website let me check to see what we have in terms of uh, drivers and utilities click on that and then i want to click on bios and firmware And now there's a 2802, so we are out of date. Let me go ahead and download that so I can put it onto a USB stick and update this motherboard. Okay, it has been downloaded already. Let me, uh, I like to put it into the folders here. So let me copy this over to the desktop. And from here, I will expand it. So if I right click on it and I say extract all, it will go right to this desktop, it looks like. So let me do extract. And it creates a new folder on the desktop. I'll delete those things later. But what I want here is this particular version of the BIOS. That's 2802, the latest and greatest for this motherboard. So let me put a USB stick in. So I have an empty USB stick here, drive G. Let me copy the firmware over to it. all copied so now I should be able to just uh, go into the BIOS and upgrade the BIOS for this motherboard make sure whenever you can upgrade the BIOS on a motherboard that you have your PC plugged into an uninterruptible power supply a UPS which is what I have here in my lab okay let me uh, shut down and boot it back up into the BIOS hitting power and now I'll hit delete when I see the prompt hitting delete key and here we are. And it does see that we have a USB stick enabled all the way over on the right here. I'll highlight it, middle of the right. And there is a UEFI that has one partition of 15.7. So let me go into tools. I have to go to advanced first. And then I'll go into tool. And then I'll go into the flash utility. And let's see that we have it shown here. Let's see what we got. We got an FS5. Let's click on that. And there's a Prime Z690P Wi-Fi Asus 2802. So I'll click on that and then see if I can upgrade it. It says back up your bit locker. I don't have that. Say so yes. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Do you really want to update the BIOS? Yes. It is now processing the update. I'll zoom through this real quick. Okay, it was successfully done and now it's rebooting. 
but let's see what happens here. I'll hit delete again, make sure it's updated. It says do not shut down, it's updating, and it's still updating. The LED firmware is being updated as well. That's what that message says. ME firmware, so there's a second firmware. You used to have to do that separately, so now it's included in the process of the firmware update. So we got an LED and now we got an ME. Okay, it looks like it's finished. I heard the beep, so that's a good sign. Let me hit the delete now and go back into the BIOS. It's telling me to go back into the BIOS anyway, so I can hit F1. And what it did do is, if you look over to the left here, it disabled, which is very common when you update the BIOS, it disabled the XMP. So let me re-enable that and reboot. Okay, so it should be running at that point at its maximum speed, this memory, 5200 megahertz. Its baseline speed is 4000. Okay, let's do a save and exit. Those are the changes it made for the XMP. I heard the beep again. A single beep is what I'm listening for. We go back into F2. Now we have XMP enabled, and now the memory is running at its maximum speed of 5200 megahertz. Let me go ahead and retune the fans. That's an important thing to do. So I'm going to go back into Q fan control. I'm going to leave it on standard. I could do turbo or full speed, but I'll leave it on standard for now. We'll see how it detects. And I'm going to Q fan tuning, and it'll do an automatic tuning of the fans. It takes two to five minutes. I always like to do that when I update the BIOS. And it did make some changes, so it's a good thing I did this. It had defaulted to 20% across the board, and it readjusted the PWM adjustments on all the fans. Okay, so that was a worthwhile effort. So okay to that. And I will do an escape, do a save and exit, and then we'll come up. Tells us the changes it made, same things we just saw. I heard the beep. I won't go into the BIOS this time, it should be the way I want it. Looks like it beeped again, I guess it resized memory. And now it's going into Windows finally. So it had to resize the memory there for some reason, I guess after the adjustments to the fans. Okay, let's see if I can log in. And there we are. We're back to where we started.